Hey guys, what is going on? So for those of you that are thinking about getting into law enforcement, there are a ton of different personalities that you're gonna be working with. You have people from different cultures, from different backgrounds, and I've worked with people that range from never leaving this town a day in their life to like military officers that have done nothing but travel. And different people bring different things to the table. So for the most part, it tends to bring, uh, it tends to bring a pretty well-rounded shift together. But sometimes those qualities, unfortunately, uh, are not a good thing. So I am going to give you the eight types of cops that you're going to be working with. And I could have added a lot more to the list, but I kind of wanted to, to keep this simple for the most part. Number one, the aggressor. The aggressor is the type of cop that will show up on one of your calls and it can be completely calm. And within two to three minutes, there's a fight, there's handcuffs going on people, like shit just completely broke out out of nowhere. Don't be an aggressor. It causes a lot of unnecessary paperwork uh, on the primary officer and there's just no reason to stir up shit if there's nothing to be stirred. This is the type of cop that a lot of people don't like. This is somebody that does not like to be challenged. And don't get me wrong, for the most part, a lot of us are very alpha male, um, so nobody likes to be challenged, but there's a certain way to handle situations. And to go into a calm situation and to make it worse is just, it's bad. Number two, the report dodger. The report dodger is the one person on shift that will do anything to get out of having to do a report. These are the same guys that will show up to a burglary and somehow leave the scene without giving them a case number. They will go to great lengths to talk people out of reports. These are the same people that if they took the amount of time and effort into getting out of a report into writing one, it would be an amazing report. Number three, the jock. The jock is always the person that was way too eager to be a cop. And to me personally, this is like my least favorite type of person to work with. It doesn't matter what you have to say, their radio traffic is much more important than yours and they will cut you off mid transmission to get their traffic out. The jock is always cocky and he thinks he is God's gift to the shift. And one thing you'll notice about the jocks on shift is that they'll, uh, they'll tend to like, they almost prey on the younger, newer officers and they'll talk to the newer officers like they're supposed to be their supervisor. Don't like jocks. Number four, the traffic guru. The traffic guru is somebody that will make between 15 and 20 traffic stops on one shift. And most traffic gurus are pretty different in what they're looking for. Some guys just wanna get out and write speeding tickets all night long. Um, others are gonna be looking for drugs and money and stuff like that. And traffic stops are some of the longest transmissions uh, that are given out over the radio. Like, like you have to give out your location, the tag number, make and model of the car, color, occupants, all that stuff. So hearing somebody make 20 traffic stops in like your first five hours of the shift is extremely annoying. Number five, the retired on duty. Retired on duty guys are usually in their uh, early 60s and they're like a year or two away from retirement. They usually get preferred treatment and they can pretty much do whatever the hell they want. Don't try to be like them though because the moment you say something along the same lines, your ass is getting written up. Number six, the disgruntled. This is usually somebody that's been in law enforcement for at least about seven years and they are just completely burned out with the job. Like they could care less whether they're there or not. Whether it's poor management or it's just t they're tired of like having to respond to the same calls every single day with the same people year after year after year, they just are completely burned out. One thing I've noticed is a lot of the people that are disgruntled in this job are people that have done the exact same thing for their entire career as a cop. Like that's the good thing about being a cop. If you get tired of being on patrol, like go to traffic, like go to detectives, do something different. That's what I love about this job is there's always like different things that you can do. You're never like just stuck on patrol. Number seven, the loner. The loner is for the most part somebody that just pretty much keeps to themselves the entire shift. He does his job just fine, but he can't stand around other officers for more than about 10 minutes without getting antsy. Like he's ready to get back in his car. I kind of fall into this category just because, I mean, I enjoy doing my own thing. I don't dislike being around other officers. I just, I prefer to be alone. It's nothing personal. It's just uh, an introverted personality, I guess. And finally, number eight, the well-rounded. The well-rounded is the officer is kind of down to earth. He's easily approachable, just kind of goes with the flow. And I would kind of put myself in this category too. And I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure I can find more types of cops uh, that there are, but this is just a basic list, uh, basic breakdown of the types of people that you're gonna be working with when you're in this line of work. There's people that play into politics, there's ass kissers, like there's a whole, uh, there's more categories I can go into. I think a lot of people have the misconception that uh, pretty much every cop is the same, and that's definitely not the case. And you don't have to be in law enforcement to like to see these different types of personality. Even if you guys go do a ride along uh, with your local department, 
you'll still get like an insight into like the different personalities and the different types of people there are. And of course, like my favorite type of person to work with is somebody that's well-rounded, but I mean, that's, that's kind of common sense. I think anybody like wants somebody that's well-rounded at their job. That is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I know it was kind of short. If you guys have any ideas for videos, just let me know uh, in the comment section below and I will try to address those. And I will try to get another video out. Let's see, what's today? Tuesday. I'll try to get an, another video out by like Thursday or Friday. Uh, this week is going to be extremely hectic, man. We've got two people that are out in training for the whole rest of the week. Well, guys, I'm going to go home and edit before work tonight. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you have any more ideas, just let me know, man. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. And guys, let me know what you think about the new intro. Um, I'll actually put the name of it in the description below so you guys can look it up. I hope everyone has a fantastic day, as always, and I will see you guys very soon.